You are listening to KGFN from Goldfield, Nevada, home of miners, madams, muckrakers, a few old farts, and a couple of ghosts. My name is Carl Brownfield, and I'm the program director here at Radio Goldfield, KGFN. We're the best community radio station in the country. The kind of announcements that are really important to us is uh, school announcements, number one. Uh, I would say that anything medical, uh, our, our uh, Patty always has on there. Every two weeks we have the commodities, and these are for all of the communities. So each one is separate at different times, and uh, each one gets announced. And uh, anything like COVID or anything else of emergency, I would say our emergency alert system, the you know thing that goes ah ah, uh, that's really important. My day starts at nine o'clock. I start getting the shows that we get from outside. I, I put them together, put them on my flash drive, and I take them to the station and then program them to play at the appropriate time. Hi, this is Pyrite Pat, the Desert Rat, and here's something I wrote for you. I used to be somebody, don't you? A lot of it is creative. When I put a show together, for instance, okay, if depending on how much time is available, you know, it might be the end of the show might be short, and I might have two, three minutes at the end of the show till the top of the hour. Well, it gives me an opportunity to play one of our comedy spots. Yeah, I can tell by your shivering that you're cold. I dug out your long johns for you, but you wouldn't put them on. I know it was 80 yesterday, but this is Nevada, so it makes perfect sense that it's 35 today. So I enjoy doing my own show. I do a two-hour live radio show on Friday evening, and I get to play whatever I want. Welcome to the Carl Shop Show. Great music and comedy from Goldfield, Nevada. Now kick back, pull up your feet, and hang on, because we got It, it isn't about the money. It's never been about the money is secondary. You know, it's all about learning. You know, it's all about doing what you want. I've always been someone that it needed to follow my own dreams and follow my own passion. Most of our show hosts are people that I have taught to do what they're doing. It, we, everybody, when you say Radio Goldfield, almost everybody in the state that knows anything about it, yeah, I know, that's that little station up there in Goldfield. Everybody knows about Goldfield. And uh, so I hopefully have brought some attention to this town. Living in a very small town like this is everybody has to help everybody else. You may not like, I don't like everybody that lives in this town. However, I don't point fingers lest I have some pointing back at me. Goldfield has, is a, the town that wouldn't die, that refused to die. It probably would have had it not been right on the main drag going from the main road from Las Vegas to Reno. Uh, this town has always had ebbs and you know, flow uh, all the way from back at the beginning. It was 25,000 people lived here in 1910, but by 1920, uh, it was down to maybe two or 3,000. It, it shrank and, and, and it built back up. In the 80s, they opened up an open pit mine out here for gold and there was about 400 uh, or so people, four to 500 people lived in Goldfield in this area. That worked. But when they shut that open pit mine down, uh, it went down to probably 150 people in the, in the town. All of Esmeralda County, the whole county is only about 800 people. It's the smallest populated county in the state, but huge in, in the geographic area. It's going to come back. Everybody thinks it's going to come back. Uh, they moved the highway here two years ago. Uh, they moved actually Highway 95 because they had discovered there's a mass of gold out there. They're going to open pit that area. There's still a lot of gold in this area. It takes a certain kind of person to live here and, and like it and love it. Uh, you have to 
be creative and you have to be self-sufficient. There's a lot of older people. I would say our population here is uh, the average is well over 50. So there's a lot of retired, most everybody's retired or a lot of people. They're a little bit different. You know, I've had people make comments, gosh, we drove through town, didn't see a soul. It must be a true ghost town. Uh, yeah, we make fun of it. If you're out of milk, it's 26 miles to get more. If you're, you need a loaf of bread, it's 26 miles to get more. Our little store here in Goldfield has been closed for about three years. Harry Reid at the time was the Senate Majority Leader. He got, went over to talk to the FCC chairman. He says, I come from a town exactly like Goldfield. And he says, they have nothing. They have no television, they have no radio, they have nothing, no mass communications whatsoever. And you need to do what you need to do to help them get a radio station established. We are the, a, a large and sometimes very dysfunctional family, but we're a family nonetheless. Following is this week's Beatty Community Calendar brought to you by KGFN Radio Goldfield. A no-appointment vaccine pod will be in Pahrump for first-dose shots on Tuesday, May the 11th from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. U.S. 95 paving It is vastly important that we keep our communities that we serve, and we serve... Uh, at least four communities, uh, big communities, you know, from Beatty, uh, Goldfield, uh, Tonopah, Hawthorne, and then all the outlying small, tiny communities with current information as to what's going on during the week. Right down to what the senior center is serving for lunch this week. And uh, that's, that brings, you know, that is as homespun as, you, you know, community radio at its very best, in my opinion. Um, you know, I don't know what will happen to the station upon my demise. One of the, the good parts about it is you get to be creative and make it direct it the way you want to hear it, the way you want it to go. And I want the sound of the station to represent history, roots, stuff that's really valuable. Eighty nine point one KGF and Radio Goldfield.